Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Glitchcraft. As we can see, I'm in another place. But this time, it's on a different server. It's actually the same server. I just found this swampland-like area. I know it says forest, but it's a swampland-like area that I decided to build my house in. This is where I'm going to live because I like the flat area, clear out the trees, make a nice big area right here, and spawn is just over the hill. So it's like perfect for me. So I'm going with this. And uh, yeah, so Windows 10 didn't kill my server again. Good. Even though it did try. Uh, yesterday morning, I sat down in front of my computer and I heard the fan spin up. I hadn't even touched them. I haven't even turned on the monitor yet. But this fan spun up and I'm like, you bastard, you didn't. You did. You just crashed on me. And, yeah, it totally just crashed and rebooted itself. So it did try to kill the server. It just didn't succeed. So fun stuff. All right, so I did a little exploring. Uh, Jay, I cleared the map. You can clear the map. And I did a little exploring. Went around the map uh, a bit. Just, you know, a bit. And way over here, I found a village. So uh, if I zoom in... You can see this area right here that was obviously cleared of something. Uh, that was because of these guys, the seared bricks. So I, I found a Tinker's Construct house, and I found seared bricks. So I stole the seared bricks. All right, so let's. right, I'm going to build it here just because, well, this is as good a place as any. It'll probably move once I start expanding outwards. But, uh, yeah, this is as good a place as any. Uh, where do I want this? Uh, let's put it here. One, two, two. I have a shovel. Two, three. There we go. Bye. Sheet. I don't want to be dealing with the water. Hmm. All right. Let's find someplace else to put this thing. Okay. These FPS jumps are annoying as hell. All right. Let's just put it here. This will be a good place. One, two, three. Bye. Three. Seared brick. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know really why I put so much effort into finding some place where I can steal some seared brick from because they're not exactly hard to make. I mean, check it. Uh, s no, let's start the easy way. Clay, sand, gravel, and I get grout. Two freaking stacks of grout. Bloop and uh, bloop, and then the grout cooks into seared brick. So there's no real point in stealing seared brick because you can make it in mass very easily. I really didn't have to go the entire way to the other side of the freaking map. Seriously, it took like two days to get over there. <laughs> It doesn't look that far when you're looking at it on the map, but it did take like two days to get over there. Two, well, it took several days because I went up here, down here, around here, up over here, and that's where I found it. And then I started heading back, and I stay away from the tainted areas, so I went around. But yeah, that took a while. That took its sweet time. Hey, night's coming. Where is my... There it is. Boop. I get lost so, oh so easily in this game. So, how are we doing on our seared brick? So we got six there, six there. And I just had a sudden realization that I need sand. Uh, specifically, I need uh, glass to do this. Boop. So that's where I will head. I'll let those cook back there. I have another furnace back at the original cave. So I'll just cook up the sand there. I guess in theory, I probably should have done this in advance. I guess that would have made sense, huh? If I would have cooked all this stuff up in advance. Hmm. Oh, well. It's Tinker's Construct. At least it's time-consuming, but it's easy. Whee! All right, so I think I'm just going to skip until all of this stuff is done. What was that noise? 
Oh, there's a zombie somewhere around here. I think there's a cave somewhere around this cave. And it kind of gives me problems every now and then, so whatever. Alrighty then, now that we have all that done, we could start building this thing, finally. Yeesh. Yeah, we're missing a few bits that don't come in the village. We are missing, let's see if I can find these things, the smeltery controller, which is just seared bricks in a chest shape. Whee! I have a cat that's clawing at my leg right now. Hang on a second. Mighty smelting. Look, I got a book. I don't care. Uh, we need a couple smeltery drains. All right, I can deal with that. Uh, let's see, how many do I need? I need four, because I have two of these casting tables and two of these casting basins. So let's get four of those guys. Yay! Um, what else do I need? I need that lava thingamabob that I can't remember. That is seared tank. All right, so chest shape and a piece of glass. That's what I needed a glass for. That's all I needed the glass for. I needed one piece, and I wasted all that time. Boop. Okay, so... Uh, sear tank can go... Let's say right there. That'll make life easy for me to uh, deal with. The controller... Boop. Can also go on the side. Because it's actually significantly easier to deal with the controller if it's on the side. You can put a hopper on it, and then you could just feed stuff into it. It makes life easy. Uh, smeltery drain, smeltery drain. We want the little piece pointing outwards. Let's put another, the other two smeltery drains there. Finish off the layer. Boop. No, not there. Boop. There. And now if everything works, yep, we have the smeltery controller working. All right, so. Uh, oh, I need one more thing. We need this guy, the seared faucet. We need four of those, so we need a way to actually put things in. Boop. All right, and then casting tables and casting basins. Yay! And uh, we need lava, too. But I didn't even think of that, but we need lava. Let's see, clay... Plenty of clay lying around. Because we have to... Yeah, we have to get lava. And if you think about it, at this point in the game, I'm not supposed to have an iron bucket. Because I'm not supposed to be able to get iron yet. I mean, I have an iron bucket, but I found it in a chest. So I'm not supposed to have an iron bucket yet. So how am I supposed to get you know, lava to put in the Tinker's Construct smeltery if you know I can't pick up lava and obviously I'm nowhere near being able to create like tubes and uh, what are those things tesseracts that's it uh, I have no idea if those are even in the game hmm. anyways this is how you're supposed to you're supposed to make clay buckets Boop. and then when you cook them they make fired clay buckets, and you can pick up water and lava and stuff. Wee. And it's mildly annoying because they're one use only. All right, so there was no convenient lava pool around here. Not that I found anyways. However, there is a volcano to the west-ish. A little bit south of west. So let's pop over to the volcano, and I'll just take some of the lava there. Hopefully it's not one of them flowing volcanoes that you can't actually get to the top of. It doesn't look like that on the map. It looks like one of the little tiny ones. Uh, boop. Come on. There we go. Yeah, cause it just looks like one of the little tiny ones that I should be able to access without a problem. So, once I get there, what's that dark spot ahead that seems to be growing? It's 
let's let's explore that because yeah there's a dark spot here this thing oh it's one of those things okay yeah these things are kind of nice um because it's it's a, as far as I could tell it's a thumbcraft thing and every now er, every now and then there will be like I don't know wizards and such spawning or uh spawned there doing like chants and crap and there'd be sword wheel welders and you know there's just people there doing some thing that i have no idea what they're doing they're summoning a ghost thing because i've watched them actually finish the summoning but if you kill them they drop their armor and their armor is really good it's like bronze level or something like that it's Protection 8 on the chest. I know that. And it's also really good for enchanting armor. So, yeah. It's actually really nice. That's what I tend to do if I find them. But the, the thing that they summon is really easy to beat. And it drops those essence things from Thom... Yeah, Thomcraft. Boop. Wait. Wait. No. Bullshit. Ah. Well, that's bullshit. What? What? I need an iron level pickaxe to get through basalt. This is, yeah, this is Project Red Exploration. Basalt should be at the same level as stone shouldn't it and normally there's like a uh i don't know tunnel of lava i, I i'm very confused now well one should do me i think anyways <laughs> at least until i can you know wander off to the next uh volcano and get some more lava. Or I can find a nice deep lava pool. Ow. Poison ivy. Ow. Poison ivy. It's the problem with running through these forest hills. Aside from the fact that you have to keep jumping to go places. There's poison ivy everywhere. And if you're not paying attention, if you're not doing everything very carefully, you can get, uh, you can walk right into it. Mildly annoying, but eh, it's not that big of a problem. I tend to take more damage jumping off of cliffs. Whee. Just as long as you're not fighting anything when you get poison ivy, then then it's a problem. Egg. I need to make a chicken farm. And I haven't been as lucky so far with those kind of things as I was in the last world. So the last world, I think of the first day I had two, three stacks of eggs. Uh, that would be my first egg that I just got. So, mm, not good. Boing. All right. Boop. All right. We got a little bit of lava. Not a lot, but a little bit of lava. Okay, so traditionally what I would do, I would take this flint pickaxe that I have that has the mining level of copper. I would go out and get a bunch of copper, cook it up, make a copper pickaxe, level that up to, I believe, tin, go out, get a bunch of tin, combine the copper and tin to make bronze. Then I'd make a bronze pickaxe, which I would level up to iron so I could go out and get some iron and make an iron pickaxe. You get the point. It's kind of a pain in the ass, yeah? I mean, that's the point of the Iguana mod is that, you know, you're su it's supposed to take you slow into the, into, into the Tinker's Construct. Well, when they made the mod, they forgot a little bit. And the bit that they forgot is that Tinker's Construct spawns Tinker's Construct's houses. I'm trying to waste time until the sun goes down so I can sleep, and then I'll do the, do the rest of this tomorrow morning. Um, 
it spawns Tinker Construct houses. And in the houses, we get, uh, you know, chests full of pre-made stuff. That pre-made stuff, like, say, this obsidian binding right here, can be remelted back down. Let me sleep, damn it. Mm. Boop, there we go. All right. Boing. All right, so all I have to do is melt down this obsidian binding to create, uh, you know, enough. It, it will create one bar of obsidian. Or one, yeah, ingot. Ingot's the word I was looking for. One ingot of obsidian. Well, to make a pickaxe head, all you need is one ingot of a thing. So I have all of this copper, but I'm going to skip the copper. I am. I'm just going to go straight to obsidian because that's kind of the point of this server is to cheat. So I'm going to cheat the system a little bit, and I'm going to go straight to uh, copper. Unless steel is actually worthwhile. But the first thing I have to do is make a mold, a cast, of the pickaxe head. And that's why I grabbed this stone pickaxe head, is so I can make the cast of it. Now, to do that, you need aluminum brass, which is made by... Come on. No. Come on. Give me the actual freaking... There we go. Okay, you take a molten aluminum and copper, and it makes molten aluminum brass. Well, the other thing you can use to make casts from is gold. Well, conveniently, I got lots of it. This gold horse armor melts down nicely. Boop, boop. And then we just have to wait till that cooks up, so that gets us gold. And then I will cook up the obsidian, which, if I remember correctly, doesn't blend with the gold, so I can do that and not have a problem with it. Then we get our stone pickaxe head, put it in there, and we wait, because this always takes forever. Hopefully I have a enough lava to do this. I fairly sure I do. I don't think I'm going to have a problem with that. And I think the gold horse armor gives me like nine ingots worth of gold or something like that. It's crazy. So this should give me plenty of gold to do all of this. Bloop. That gives me 16 ingots of gold. So that means that each gold armor gave me, uh, gold horse armor gave me eight ingots. All right. So that gives me enough to do this. Bloop. which gives me uh, the gold cast. Uh, I lose the stone pickaxe that I used to, for the mold, but, you know, I don't care. And then I just got to wait for the obsidian to do its thing. Ever so slowly. Now, I'm curious about something, and I haven't quite figured this out yet. Uh, to get ingots like iron ingots and stuff like that, you need to have an ingot mold. But, oh, okay, oh, it gave me four nuggets. Ooh, that's not enough. That really isn't enough. Crap. And I didn't have anything else obsidian. Shit. Huh. Well, if I can't make an obsidian pickaxe head, which I don't think I can, not with uh, four nuggets. You need a whole ingot to make the uh, pickaxe head, so that's not going to work. Uh, so we'll cook up the horse armor, the iron horse armor, and we'll use that instead. What was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, that's right. I was talking about making ingots. I couldn't remember. I couldn't figure out how to actually make ingots. Like, because you have to make the ingots mold before you can, you know, make ingots. And I'm like, wait, I don't know how to do that. And then it just kind of dawned on me. We take our molten gold here. We make a block of molten gold. 
and then we just craft the block into a uh, nine ingots and just use that. Simple task, fairly straightforward, fairly easy. Now that I think about it, boop. See, there, now we have that. And I just put that there. And I still have, I have five ingots left, so that's plenty of ingots. So I make a gold cast around the gold ingot, which gives me the ingot cast. And now I have plenty. So, okay, molten iron, boop. Boop, and there we go. Now we have an iron pickaxe head. So I kind of skipped a part, which is kind of nice. Uh, where are all of the tools? I'm going to take this cactus binding. I don't know what it does. I don't remember what it does, but it's nice. Um, put down all of this stuff, which will give me, let's see, tool station, right? Yeah, that's making this whole station. No, I know what I want there. I want, boop, the pattern chest there. Not the stencil table. Part builder? Yes, part builder there. That way it can access the pattern chest. Then I will make the stencil table there. That'll work perfectly. And the tool table right there. So now I can make my tools. All right, so I got, uh, let's see, sword. There we go, tool rod pattern, so that's good. What can I make the tool rod out of? I have gold, but I don't want to use that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I can make it out of wood. Wood's simple. Of course, I could just make copper and do that, or aluminum. But, you know, wood's easy. Let's just do that real quick. This is going to be a temporary pickaxe anyways, because once I get enough obsidian, then I'm going to make another obsidian pickaxe, you know? All right, so tool rod. Boop. That gives me a wooden tool rod and a stick. So now I have the pickaxe head, the binding, and the tool rod. So let's put this all together. Ooh, uh, pickaxe. Pickaxe head. Binding. Tool rod. Iron pickaxe was mine level iron. Yay! Uh, do I have a modifier on that yet? Uh, no. I have a jagged modifier. I don't remember what that does. I think that's actually good for uh, swords and such, because that does damage, but, you know, whatever. And, yeah, so there we go. Now we have an iron pickaxe. So we did skip a few levels. But now I have to level up my iron pickaxe to the next level and figure out what that covers. And I don't remember what that does cover. I really don't. Should I be doing this? Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I should be carrying out the smooth stone or if I want the floor to be smooth stone. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, now that we have that... I guess from here on out, it's just me leveling up my tools and hopefully eventually getting another obsidian, you know, something obsidian so I can melt it down. And that's, that's pretty much it for right now. That's all I had planned for today. I know, I actually had something planned, holy shit. But that's all I had planned for today, so I will end the episode here. And I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.